Well, another one of the overtime touchdown scores is Steve Ishmael. Steve, you put it in there in OT, too. Take me through that moment and how big it was at the time. It was really big. Um, Coach Lester caught a play-action play. You know, I was looking forward to – I really wanted to score that game, you know, especially in a time like that. It was really huge. So the, corner, the corners was playing man on me all day, and I was telling Coach to, you know, just throw a little shout-out there, which he did. So I'm just glad I got to come down with the play. But, you know, it was a loss. But we're looking forward to this game. Second overtime game of the year. You got the other one done uh, quick. This one goes three overtimes. What's it like when you're into the third overtime and you guys are grinded like that? Man, it was really intense. You know, I, I, I love the experience. That was my first time ever going into a triple um, overtime. But it was it was a great game. You know, Virginia played it, played us really great. But you know, the experience it just was just was nerve wracking. But you know, um, we 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 didn't pull it out. We just you know, I feel like that really helped build us up into the next games. You know, um, we 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 could compete with any team in the ACC. And you know, hopefully, if we do get into overtime again. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to pull it out. I, I sort of hear it in the emotions in your voice right now, even a, a few days later, that, man, that must have been a really fun game to be a part of. But at the same time, it's disappointing. Most definitely. Um, I love I love, I love, love football. I'm just, I thank God just that I have opportunity to come out here and play. You know, um, most people don't have this opportunity. Um, I feel like it's a, it's, it's just it's just a miracle to be out there. So, you know, I'm just going out there and competing against the best. You know, making it to college football, it was most definitely um, fun and and, and intriguing, but, you know, I really wanted the W, but, you know, we have to move forward in Pittsburgh this week. All right, we'll get to Pittsburgh in a second, but I got to ask you well, one play from this game, and it's not one of the overtime plays. We're going to go back a couple hours. Eric Dungey's jumping over people. <laughs> Did you see it when it happened, and how crazy was that play? I was actually out there. I had a fade route. I was running, then I seen them scrambling. The, 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 the fans were cheering on, and then I seen them gathering up to jump over him. But when he did, I was like, wow, man, that's amazing. I was I was laughing. I, I was so hyped up after that play. I was like, yeah, man, let's go. We, we got this thing. And, you know, it was on ESPN. You know, it just it was a great moment for him, especially as a freshman coming in and doing amazing plays like that. Um, It most definitely carried on some hype into this upcoming game. All right, uh, Quinn Blanding, the guy who jumped over 6'2", and he, he wasn't quite all the way up, but he was close enough. You're a great athlete. Do you think you could have pulled that off, jumping over a guy like that? I don't know, man. Eric, he's, he's a freak of an athlete, man, especially as a freshman, jumping over people like that. But if if I was in the heat of the moment, I would try it. But I don't know. Eric Dungey, man, he could jump. He got some jumps, man. I'm, 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 really, I'm really looking forward to see what he jumped next year in the, um, in the Olympics that we do. So it's, it, that was really amazing especially over Quinn Balding, a good, a good um, safety. All right, into the second half of the season, the offense has so many young guys, defense too. Do you feel like there's a, still a lot of room for improvement for you guys as you go forward? Uh, most definitely on offense and defense. Our defense play their butts off, man. I tell you, they they go out there every time. They 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 put up seven points. They they force turnovers, you know. But I feel like we could do more on the offensive side, you know, um, being more aggressive, which are which we are gonna do. So I feel like we're just we're just still growing. We're in the middle of the season. We have so many young guys out there that's playing, you know. And I feel like the vet, the veterans, the old linemen, is really helping us on offense and the defense as well. The D linemen are pretty old people, so I feel like we still have a lot of a lot of improvement. We're still working as a team and I feel like we're, we're we still have a chance to do 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 what we wanted to um coming into the season you're a sophomore I mean there's a lot of youth on this team does that give you guys a, a different kind of energy on this team that there is still a lot of this youthful excitement around uh, most definitely especially looking at Zaire Franklin he's a sophomore he's a um, captain already so you know we, we we most definitely rely on the young the young um the young group um I know uh, um Cordier, he caught a pick this game. He really helped us out a lot. So, I mean, everybody's just making plays all over. Chris Chris um, Slayton forced to fumble USF game. So, you know, we, we have a lot of young guys that's really helping us this year, and I'm just looking forward to, you know, watching them grow. Uh, you mentioned Pitt. What's this game mean in a rivalry sense? Because Syracuse and Pitt have been playing each other every year for years now. Yeah, th this game most definitely means a lot. Coach Schaefer said that we've been playing them ever since 1955, and the records actually actually tie right now. So that's that's amazing in itself. History is just playing itself out. So you know, we we most definitely just want to come here and get the win. ACC game, it's a division game, so we're most definitely we most definitely have to pull this out. We're one and one in the we're one and one in the, the division, so we we're most definitely just trying to look for more wins so we can. Um, 
go to a bowl game. All right, lastly, it's homecoming, Orange Central this week. What does that add to you guys to, to get back in the dome and have that this weekend? Uh, it's really it's really uplifting, especially since since we played the last two games away and we, we lost. So, you know, I feel like coming back into the dome, we're going to have a lot of energy. We're going to be a lot more hype for the games. You know, it, it's, been, it's been a rough patch for these last two games, but, you know, I'm just looking forward to going into the dome games and, you know, um, having a fan cheer us on. All right, Steve, I feel your excitement right now. I'm excited <laughs> to watch you again this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.